Hey, kids. Welcome back to part two of Lover's Quarrel. I am recording. Excellent. Uh, very professional video. Oh, Picatum, if you're watching, I'm going to DM you um, this. I'm going to put it in the... Y'all want pre-game... Demo files. So demo files. What we're looking at right now is um, a demo. Um, it plays before uh, you select a level. You can... Him running around just shooting random shit is the input instructions from the, the default demo file for Doom 2, which is going to be for map 11. I think O of Destruction. Um, you can input custom demo instructions to fix, or not fix, but have this level be played, um, the way it should be, quote unquote, just so you can get a, a, a nice preview. It's a nice look to have on your wad. It's not entirely necessary, but, um, again, it, it's just something nice you could have, um. But that's not important. That's uh, something for later. What is important is the fact that I'm about to play some more levels. I was on Daisy Island, and none other than Moomy. This level is one of my personal favorites from the, the Deathmatch selection. So, I'm rather excited to get into it. Some rather exciting life updates for me. I, uh, I moved into a new... Not really an apartment. It's a town home in uh, the university area of the city I went to college in. So I, I'm, I'm. No, I can't see it from my bedroom window. But if I were to look through the tree line behind my my, my house, I'd be able to see where I lived my uh, last two years of college, which is very exciting. It's very good for me. I love this area. It's a lot better than uh, the G spot where I was formerly living. Um, got good company with, uh, my freshman roommate, William, cool guy, we've been, I've just been spending the past few days chilling with him, I played Black Ops 2 for the first time in a few years, so, always a good feeling to get some quick scoping done, but, other than that, I have a really good space to just, like, sit down, relax, and do hobby shit, meh, had a excellent interview on Monday, so my stability in terms of budget is going to hopefully um, begin to become good. Oh, shit! But other than that, I'm in a great place. A lot better than I have been for the uh, past two months, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready to start finishing some puss. I'm playing Doom like a god. The only major issue that I'm currently facing is... Well, not major issue. When it comes to working on put... Okay. When it comes to working on puss and... Oh. Nice. Getting um, our backlog finished. Two major issues present itself. One being how big the backlog is. I've been talking to Death Baron. We're, we're going to make some big cuts to our former plans. Like, I had initially planned two maps for Mayan Madness. I'm going to trim that down to just one because it's just for the interest of time. The WAD's been in development for over a year. There's no sense in keeping that um, so long. Same with Revenge of the Speed Demons. I'm not going to do any secret levels for that, nor am I going to allow any extensions for... Um, future potential mappers like it if you're if you were if you want it like if you you were going to map for that event it would have happened by now you being a hypothetical um, mapper here um i i don't really uh, i don't really have any interest in keeping that wad open any longer it sucks that um i'm not gonna have a shit ton of maps for it but it's whatever but yeah, th those two are just going to require me to sit down and make some levels. We're going to have some free time in August. 
which is excellent. Um, it's going to be great for the backlog, especially the Series 2 one is very, very staggering. The Series 3 backlog is the biggest hurdle is going to be um, Chilling Winds, just getting all the, the monsters finished. The, we have good progress on all of them except for the Mastermind, which has zero sprites insofar. Um, I don't know what to do for that um, aesthetically. I, I would love to find somebody else to do it, but... Um, yeah. But the big issue um, that's kind of impacting all of this is that I've been having um, some pretty, pretty, pretty bad hardware issues. My laptop, um, sometime in the middle of May, um, just flat out stopped working. <laughs> I would uh, open any program, like Google Chrome, for example, and the thing would just fucking crash instantaneously. It would blue screen. I eventually determined, like, I, I, I made a wild guess that it was a RAM issue, and thankfully I was right, but now the computer has less RAM than it. The, the, the RAM cards I had um, on hand were half of what I used to have, so my computer is not as um, strikingly easy to make shit in software. Like, video editing is... I don't do a lot of I don't do a lot of video editing, but I don't imagine I'm going to be doing a lot more anytime soon. Um, I'm worried. I, I do worry about OBS and running Doom. It seems to be going fine right now. I did some optimizations the other day um, using Dell Support Assist and ran. Um, I, I updated the firmware, so hopefully that that all will begin to be a lot prettier. Interesting. I swear those those um didn't teleport in. Let's let's see. Okay. So the button, I right, so this is repeatable. Okay. Interesting. Uh I, yeah, I updated my firmware, so it's running better than it was um, a few weeks prior. It, there's still the issue of stuttering. I'm Doom plays fine because this game came out in the 90s, but I've had this laptop since 2018, and gaming laptops are known to melt <laughs> because they get really hot. Um, it's just a limitation of the system itself. Um, the hardware, I, like, there's not much I can do to, you know, mitigate my laptop's issues without spending a lot of money, of which I am fairly limited at the time, because, remember that new apartment I mentioned I moved into, or townhome? Yeah, I'm still paying for the lease of my former place, um, I don't really want to get into why I wanted to get out of there, but I needed to get out of there, um, it was, um, not a good living situation for me, so I, I just decided it, it was best to, like, take the risk, swallow my pride, and pay two leases. Um, my bedroom, old bedroom in, in the G-Spot is now uh, a home gym, which my roommate started setting up while I was packing my bags, so... Um, Thanks to that, but well, I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm not allowed to talk about that. My my current roommate said I'm not allowed to complain about that anymore. After uh, moving, so no, it, it's not that I have rules or anything. It's more of a joke, really. But it's I think it's good to set um ugh, Jesus set a boundary. Just you know, let myself relax by not thinking about or complaining about um, a former situation, but. Yeah, um, I can't really afford to get a new system right now. I have enough money in savings to pay for one more month of rent <laughs> in my other apartment. So, after the end of June, things are going to get really, 
really, really dicey for me. So I'm um, really hoping that this I this job I interviewed for last week, which again went really well, and it's like a dream job. So I really hope that works out. Um, my fingers are crossing really, really tightly and hard to the point the veins are popping out because I want that to work out because it means I get to work from home, which means I get to play more Doom. Don't tell my future boss I said that, though. Everybody does it. Um, yeah, that, that's just a brief 20-minute... Yeah, 10-minute life update on Blue Pineapple 72. Things are good. They're getting better. Um, major thing I want to fix next that I can manageably fix is my sleep schedule, and then I, I need to... I need to get my, I, I'm looking at it on my floor right behind me. I need to get my calendar set up again so I can have like a, a visible like um, to-do list just on my wall so I can keep track of um, all this shit in my backlog. Hello, Froggy. I'm going to send that to Noah. Uh, but other than that, other than some other things going on, I've been playing guitar for uh, a, a local artist in my city and that's been going pretty well people are loving it um, I've, I've had I had a show last Friday and I have one tomorrow um, and then I'll have one again in a few weeks actually two weeks I think I'm not really excited about that one because it's like an hour and a half away <laughs> but you know exposures exposure, is exposure. Um, can't really worry about like how well I'll do because you know it's all about just having fun with it I do need to warm up a bit I, I th that was one issue for the last show I didn't really um, play as well as I could have because I I, I don't want to say I didn't know what I was doing but I just wasn't ready but everybody still loved it regardless I just personally didn't feel like I, I did as good as I could have all right let's talk about the map I really like what's going on here Mumi Ammo and health seems a plenty. I'm doing my... I You know, this feels good. I haven't had a Blue Pineapple video like this in a while where I just kind of talk. Um, it's like a podcast. But with Doom! Doom. I hope, I hope this is good for your ASMR people. Get mouth noises right on my microphone. Um, there's a lot. Do I have a BFG? I don't. I don't see an option to get one, but um, I've been using rocket launchers, so I'm going to try and use plasma. I'm going to focus really hard on getting rid of the explosive characters first. These, alright, so those guys, Arachnotron I'm not super worried about, the hit scanners I am. This guy I am too. I want to get rid of the arch file quicker cyber demon I'm not incredibly worried about at the moment he's kind of like a an obstacle I'm gonna bank on those revenants not being a problem those chain gunners are a big problem though um, Skew me. Uh, good. Let's. What did Zero say in chat? That, that seems ominous. Out of ammo. They're not gonna hit him from there. I wish I could see what killed me there.
I I don't I don't know how I feel about actually you know that's fine it, it adds an interesting dynamic because if you pick up the switch you can't just run to the door I like that I like that I was about to criticize it but it's nice ow thank you this I want more rockets so Sounded like the cyber demon just died. Shit, shit, shit. <sighs> Meat door. Dealing with those revenants up there is going to be an issue. Oh man, they got the cyber demon stuck. That's awesome. Damn it. I need to do some server maintenance um, on the post discord. By maintenance, the main concern I have is that, and this is a complaint I've been getting on the server since the, like we started it, we have a lot of channels. Um, and it, it like I don't really see a use in splitting up a lot of what what was logical to me, like having separate YouTube channels for custom YouTube content and then just random YouTube content. I don't personally see a. Uh, a reason to split those up. I'll, I'll have to talk with moderators and see what they think. Because while it could be useful for streamers, it, it is very confusing to just have like a, a bunch of YouTube links and one thing you'll you'll find with Discord, and I'm I'm guilty of this. I do this all the time. When people join a server, they don't really look and read and like really investigate what channels are supposed to be for. They just kind of like see YouTube and like, oh, this is where I post YouTube links, right? And sure, people sometimes ask. It's not always the case. Your best course of action is to uh, just keep it as simple as possible so on a first glance, new users will just kind of get the gist without having to think too hard. Emojis help with channels. There's one more arch file, but yeah, I, my uh, was I doing this pistol start? Yeah, I think I was doing a pistol start playthrough. One thing Mumi's really good at is making exterior details. Like, I, that looks like a map I want to play on. That's so cool. Excellent map, Mumi. I had a lot of fun playing this. It's just a nice casual romp through. Fighting. Alright. Only 18 minutes. Excellent. Let's do the next map. Um, Castle of Love by Poxel? Alright. I'm making the executive decision. I don't remember if I was doing Pistol Start on Part 1. Part 2, we're not doing it. This is a fun deathmatch map. On my my personal opinion, would a change be that? Again, this playthrough is not focused. On um, providing feedback, I, I I guess it would be for future. Reference because I know the the deadline for map updates is going to be pretty soon, and I'm rather late with this. My personal opinion is that door that I just interacted with 
would be a different texture than the doors I can't interact with, because, like, it's not logical to have, well, let me, let me provide an example. That painting, um, was my phone background for a while. But yeah, like, those doors all in the main area had this texture. And you couldn't open them by regular means, right? This door, on the other side, had the same texture, but you could interact with it. Um, typically, I would change the texture of the door you can interact with. So when a player sees it, they know, like, oh, I can, I can, I can hump it and it opens. And like same here, like it's just good to have a consistent door texture um, usage. Another thing, all of these monster closets or the raising floors, just map design wise, I would have them raise before you're able to walk over top of them because you, there's a chance you could get stuck. And it's also awkward walking on top of a monster. And this. Um, for repeating repeating lines like this typically you could um, get around like chunking and floor noises when you have a uh, voodoo closet which they're fairly simple to um, integrate and create and if you need Oh, that's something I, I'd want to be. I'd want to do in the future. It's something I've teased for a long time. Just mapping tutorials, especially for um, like mapping theory purposes. I know Bear wants, has been wanting to do that for a while. I've yeah, I've been wanting to do a lot of. There are a lot of like Doom tutorials on like, oh, how do you make a door? How do you make a? How do you make a dang? Uh, What'd you open? Yeah, how do you make a door? How do you make poly objects? How do you make whatever, right? I think there aren't a lot of how to make a map tutorials. And it'd be nice for me to just like get all my ideas out there or to just have somebody else do it and copy their ideas to just give yourself a, like a, 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 a conscious, uh, not a consciousness, but like a train of thought that you can continue when making levels like oh i need this i need that just to have like a checklist when making a level you know what i mean they're different mint there oh that's that's just lover lover squirrel it's all pink oh this texture is misaligned um, is, do I have Discord open? Yeah, I would not, I would like, I would change that door texture. sure what that did cool castle of love Poxel 12 fun map love refinery I did not see who made this map Worried Idiot and Norb. Worried Idiot is a talented Doom mapper. I've played a few stuff of theirs before. This is a fun deathmatch map too. So, 84 monsters, zero secrets. I will not be looking for any. 
God, I don't want to play bolt gun. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's a lot of revenants. Eek! What the hell? Were those decorations uh, blocking? Those decorations seemed like they were blocking. Let's go find out. Yeah, these decorations are blocking. Super shotgun go. Damn, cornered. Health. Oh, I got rev rockets on my ass. Dog. Baller. Oh, I don't know if you saw that stutter. That was my laptop doing its thing. You didn't see that. Let's kill all these sons of bitches. Brother. Brother! No. No, brother. We need to poo. How'd that take? Who fucking likes the Space Marines? Not me. I don't like the Space Marines. I fucking hate the Space Marines. Space Marine! Blood Ravens! Attack! Orcs all day, baby. We's the WA Patrol. Huzzah. Slime trail. All right, I don't give a fuck about slime trails. They are non-consequential, and just an error of this port in which we work. <gasps> Benadryl. Excellent. Love of Fire Nary by Worried Idiot 
and Norb. All right, let's keep going. I got a lot of wah going on right now. Cupid's Crucible by Captain Toenail. Into the infested starport, but something is wrong. The monsters have brought their own reality with them. This is default. I'm gonna send this to Pekka. Y'all get to watch my computer be slow. I click the Discord button. Yay. I need to double check something. I don't even know if I'm playing on the current version. <laughs> that would be very dumb of me. Yeah, I'm I'm playing on the wrong version. That is a, uh, you know. Totally not embarrassing. I, I I thought about it. I thought about it before I started. I'm like, I should probably uh, check to see if I'm playing on the most recent version. But you know, we can't all be perfect. We all have our mistakes and flaws from time to time. Me, I'm 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 a flawed individual. I have a, you know, I I have a boo boos every now and then. Um. Oh, Pekka. By the way, I hope you're watching. Let's select this folder. Extract. Oh, so that... That's that's awesome. I did have it on my... Okay, I just... I launched the wrong version. I, I had already installed it. That's... That's that's incredible. Um, for naming conventions, Plus24 is excellent. I would do... Oh no, that that's right. I need to change this eventually. Oh shit. I'll 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 worry about this later. I already uploaded this to the forums. Oops. Instead of, I I would do I would have LQ somewhere in this title. I I completely forgot that um, you can't have spaces in your. Um, WAD files if you want to have oh since this is a new version I do want to see if these blocking things no it's still blocking hmm. alright has it changed excellent Rumi, love is not the work of the tender and the gentle. Love is the work of the wrestlers. The one who becomes a servant of lovers is really a fortunate sovereign. Do not ask anyone about love. Ask love about love. Love is a cloud that scatters pearls. Beautiful, let's go kill shit. Die! I hate you, die! I'm all alone. <laughs> I can shout all I wish. I fucking hate you, I'm gonna fucking kill you, fucking die, god damn it! Jeez, he's so violent. What's wrong with him? I'm gonna punch the fucking shit out of you. Ah! I love this map. I think this is by LG Mare. Um, really fun. Actually, we can check. <laughs> this is Captain Tone. Now, this is not LG Mare. I credited the wrong person. This is an incredible deathmatch level, though. I, it's really fun. Yay. 
yeah, that's what you get for being dumb and stupid and I hate you. The only demon I love is the one at my feet, deceased. That's a cool effect, I've never seen that before. Really creative, that door. I just want to check how long we've been running for. 35 minutes? What? That ain't shit. I'm gonna get the map 10. That's my personal goal. I love you. You know what I love? This thing. It makes me kill things faster. Die. Murder. Blood. Blood. Blood for the blood god. Yes. Kill! Maim! Burn! I'm still getting used to having the allowance to shout in my room. There's one thing I love more than my partner, it's murder. <laughs> I love killing. I love ending life. <laughs> I'm evil. Ah. My enemies are ontologically evil, slaughtering them is <laughs> <it's> moral. <laughs> I'm checking my phone. Rah! I'm not interested in your job offer. I'm not working for you. I am not going to work at Eggs Up Grill. I've never eaten there, and that's a 40 minute drive. Bruh. Stop. This content's not for children. I say... Uh, I was about to talk about penises. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about penises in this Doom video. Sorry, y'all. There, there are limits even I won't... I won't break. Ah, uh, I hope we get to the map with Blondie. I'm gonna go get the rock and launch ya. Oh shit! No! Oh. Yeah! Peter Connell. Yeah, how'd you get a job here? The fuck? Oh, I thought I saw something. Ah! I really, really, really want to play some fucking Call of Duty right now, man. I, I have not played Call of Duty in such a long time. But what sucks is the ones I want to play are, like, deceased. You know, like Black Ops 2, you can't you can't find a game. Well, I mean, you could probably do it on PC, but that's not the same. It is not the same. Oh, and I don't have Xbox Live either. Ugh. Yeah, no, I'm I, I'm gonna do it on PC. But like, so the issue with Call of Duty, um, if you want to play like Black Ops 2, right, and you like get it at GameStop and you put it in your Xbox. For one, you gotta have Xbox Live to play, which sucks and it's archaic and nobody likes that. Um. Two, that the lobbies are just completely infested with all sorts of knavery. It's just all hackers. Like, you can't join a regular Call of Duty lobby anymore. It's all, like, 
nasty. Especially Black Ops 2, which sucks because it's the best one. I don't know the state of Black Ops 3. I'd be I'd be down the place in Black Ops 3. But you know, the modern ones don't really they, they don't interest me. I I don't like the battle pass stuff. Another thing with the old ones too, like you gotta buy the goddamn DLC if you wanna play them. I, I imagine PC fares a little bit better with um like dedicated servers. I uh, that may not be the term for that, but like private servers and like um, you know people's own custom and uh homebrewed matchmaking sites which will allow you to skirt around you know the oh shit it'll allow you to get around the uh the matchmaking the game like it was built for, which is just infested with hackers. Um, modern Call of Duty, though, is just not my jam. I know my, my my laptop would not be able to really run much of anything, and I I just don't I don't think those games are fun. They're glorified movement shooters with no with bad movement. Like people who play those games, go 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 play fucking Unreal, man. Like. What makes Call of Duty fun, um, I feel like has been lost to time, personally. I think the gun customization in the newer ones is way too complicated. Um, I hate customization in general, like, in terms of skins. I think, like, having having characters being a big part of the Call of Duty gameplay loop is just... It misses the point, you know? Call of Duty is not a game about like special powers and like abilities. It's about you have a gun and you're stupid and you run around corners and you shoot things, right? Like, there's not much to it. It's it's a game for children. I said it. it it's a game for children. And you know, I I like I'm a childish person. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm childish, but I have childlike tendencies. I have, you know, the heart and youthful innocence of somebody with the cheery disposition of a dependent, someone who doesn't pay taxes, you know, I, 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 I dig that shit, I really dig just not thinking. And I think, uh, Modern Call of Duty, like, I mean, I have, I, I'm, I'm talking on my ass because I've never played any of it, but, you know, like, one can assume, there's not one coming out this year, but there is a Mortal Kombat, but that's what sucks, like, I, I don't have any friends who like Mortal Kombat, and that's a, that's a game that, like, to me, It'd be an awesome couch game. Like I just, I, I sit on the couch and I play some motherfucking Mortal Kombat. But the, uh, the friends that I do have that are fighting game fans don't like Mortal Kombat, which is whatever. It's their loss, I guess. But it's not worth seventy dollars to get a game that's like you're not you're gonna play like once or twice. That's an arcade game, man. Like, if you could rent Mortal Kombat and, like, play it for a weekend, that's that's tight. I can't, like, justify... like I, I, And I, it's not a game, like, I could just turn on and, like, get a, get a few matches in, right? Like, there are some people who are crazy good at a game, and it's, it's not fun playing a game like that against people who are really good at it. Like, you can make that same argument for every game. Like, Call of Duty's not fun getting smoked in. But, you know, the gap between somebody really good at Call of Duty and somebody really good at Mortal Kombat is... It's, um, tremendous. There, there's... Oh. Oh. The things you can do... in a fighting game with a lot of practice are, um, I don't like these arachnotrons. They're in an awkward position. In fight, in fight. Dog. That's fucked up.
Two of them? That ain't right. But like, yeah, like I was saying, like, if you... If you want to get good and play Mortal Kombat just regularly, you need to both play it regularly and you need to practice. And I don't like to think when I play, like, I, I don't want to sit down and fucking study it, like, move sheet. I don't want to memorize anything. I just want to turn the game on and, like, do play the game, you know? Practicing is for nerds. That's why I'm bad at guitar. That, that Arachnatron shot was perfectly timed. Damn it. It's really tempting to not burp into the mic. Yeah, Mortal Kombat's one of those, like, Google the cutscene games, you know? And by cutscenes, I mean all the fatalities. You just watch them on YouTube. And then you never actually play it. Because it's like, once you've seen a fatality ten times, it's like... Okay. I think brutalities are better because um, brutalities require you to actually like earn it in a sense. Like if you win a match um, in Mortal Kombat, it, it's just kind of like rubbing it into the person's face that you uh, won by killing them. But getting a brutality is like rubbing your balls on her face like you you really you really fucked them up so i think like th that's impressive from a gameplay standpoint but fatalities to me offer no real gameplay satisfaction more than um just their interest in animations so like they grow old This map's hard. It's fucking great though. Toenails got a a knack for making maps. That's a deep. That is a that is a dangerous arch file. Yuck. Yeah, eat shit. Oh, 
Hey, buddy. Oh, home slice. Yeah, eat shit. <laughs> awesome map. That was awesome. Really liked it. No comments, really, um, on its design other than that it's well designed, and I have nothing to offer, really, in terms of insight other than that I had a lot of fun. So, next map! Uh, Garden of the Cherubim. By Cusick. Cherubim. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Ow! Ow! Ah! Ow! Ah! Ah! Ow! Each! Ow! Ooh! Ooh! Owie! Ooh! Ow! Ooh! Ah! Oh, no, I died. I guess I got a pistol start. Eighty-eight monsters. All right, fifty-three minutes. Wizard! Oh shit. A lot of chain gunners.
do not have the item necessary to use that ammunition as of yet. I'm not gonna shortcut. Damn! Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be joshing me. Cool. Cool. I get the good shit because I'm cool. Should I save this in? Nah. Six enemies. I know who they are. <laughs> I do not know who they are. Hmm. I don't have that key. Well. God, I'll put more armor. Ballerific. Cool map. Ah, fun. I do think it was a little um, stiff at the start with the enemy counts. Oh my. Uh, oh, that's a lot of dust. Sorry, there's dust on my uh, fan. My personal gripe. No super shotgun that I could find. Um. And it, uh, if that, that opening fight a little bit RNG heavy, mainly because of just how many hit scanners there were. Um, the chain gunners in particular being a, a serious obstacle. God, I, I love just abusing my microphone privileges and making it very unpleasant. Like, I don't even know what it sounds like. I, I bet it's really funny, though, that I'm, you just like have these awful noises that are really annoying. I'm just like, ah. I don't know. Next map. You may... You may kiss the demon by Sergeant Anger. 208 mon. Yeah, um, I'm gonna call it here. So, we'll do this next time. It's gonna be a long map. We're gonna go to this level after that, which is also long. This one's not that long. Well, not as long. Pink lipstick. A lot of these are fairly long. That's not long. Rock B H. I love you. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be long. That's Sorry, I'm just trying to... I, I don't remember what slot I had. Or what slot Deathburn I had. 24. Cool. Oh yeah, I'm not going to play this now. Thank you for stopping by. Um, it's always been a pleasure to record. As always, leave a comment if you have anything important you need to say. Or not important. I don't care. Like, subscribe, share, uh, post YouTube links on like, uh, print them out on pieces of paper, QR codes, and put them on street posts around your neighborhood. Um, tell your mom about me. Tell your cousin about me. Tell your, um, your aunt's, your aunt's daughter-in-law. Go to your local games workshop. Tell the manager and your local towel player about me, too. Go to Walmart. Record yourself going on the Walmart. Kick over a bunch of shirts you don't like and act all defiant like you're making a big movement fuss or whatever. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm showing them. And then go up to somebody who's looking at you weird and say, hey, you, with like the shifty eyes, um, getting nervous around the guy kicking over clothes. Have you ever heard of Blue Pineapple 72? Yeah. I bet you haven't. He's a Doom YouTuber. And then they go, uh huh. And you go, yeah. YouTube videos.